T20 and it's here. And it's all on because it's a one-off situation. Not a series of T20, just the one match here from the Sheikh Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi. Well, both teams have made a couple of changes and uh, Sri Lanka, well, just some subtle ones there. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to Agenda Mendes having a good look at him. He's coming back from injury, of course. So uh, a little bit of that. And then Chima, too, he's bowled quite well. So he gets a go. Dilshan, I said to him, mate, good luck tonight because it's uh, been a bit frustrating for him. He needs to get a score. And he ha hasn't contributed as he would like, particularly in the ODI series. Yokul Taranga, his partner. Well, they've been good as a partnership, these two, for Sri Lanka. You were talking about Tilak Ratan and Dilshan contributing with the back. And when he does, it has a big effect on the Sri Lankan team because he gets them at a rate and puts the pressure on people like this. Umar Gul, who's been so good. It's Gul. And he starts with a one. Bit of width. And this should be the first boundary. Doesn't bother running as Dilshan. He's off the mark. He held his ground. Just a short stride balanced and throws his hands at it. That's where he's really good. And with T20 cricket, we've got the dancers. Inside there, it's just a little too straight again from uh, Tanvir, and it's cost him consecutive boundaries here. Well, the dancers are out, and every reason to do so. Dilshan on his way. This time, staying calm. Look, he waits for it, and just make sure he gets it into the gap. The outfield does the rest. Again, too straight, but there is protection. Wants to, Dilshan. Taranga has to be quick and didn't gather the ball. Oh, that's a big mess. Because it's pitching on the square, it just kids on. And Shoaib Malik gets into a mess. Just let him know the bouncer might come at him. Oh, lovely hands. And it races away for a boundary. And it's just exquisite timing from Taranga. He's got that one wrong, Umar Gul. Because it pitched in line with the stumps and kept going. What Taranga did well was, he used the pace, didn't try to hit it too hard. Let it come past him and pick that gap. Yeah, lovely balance, wasn't it? And a bit of glove love from the skipper. Keep going, sunshine. In the air and over the top. And that'll be four more. It's turning into a good over for Sri Lanka. Yeah, Gul couldn't use that bouncer to great effect. With three balls remaining, Pultaranga knows that he's got to be fuller rather than shorter uses his body position to create width but very difficult to get gone though taranga he's the first one down to chima and pakistan strike early he should have done re better really you taranga it's on his patch right up to him not his exact strength though Ended up playing all round it. And uh, Chima, yeah, he got it on target. He just played all round it. No real swing, just a good length where he could have punched down the ground. But a perfect sight for Chima. This is Dilshan. And the skipper goes over the top. Handsome stroke. And he picks up his third boundary. Looking for that Indy Pachima. But Dilshan picks it up. This is the format he likes. This is how he likes to play. Go after the bowling. 
I don't know about you, Russell Arnold, I'd like to have seen three 50 over games and three T20s. Short one and over the top. Chandamali gets into the act as well. There's his first boundary. It's 40 for one. Oh, that's one that's got away from uh, Tambir. And it hits the rope. Wide. And uh, not the place to be bowling, really, in any form of the game. Very true, Danny, but the pressure is on. Dilshan's throwing his bat at everything. And the bowlers, in turn, trying to be really tight to him. So margin for error, very minimal. Wider the crease, and he's creating a big angle. So tough for Umar Akmal to cover. Tees off this time, and goes over the top of mid-off. Finishes the over with a boundary. It's a good one for Sri Lanka. 15 off that over. Down the track, over the top, another four, it's all happening. Sri Lanka doing an extremely good job here. They're not really caring about Shahid Ajmal or Shahid Afridi, just, they're just on at the moment. I think Russell Arnold made an important point about playing T20 cricket first on a tour. <laughs> that seemed to be the recipe so far. But still a lot of cricket left in this game, don't forget. Yes, I totally agree with you, Roshan. Uh, this was one too many, I would say. He got six of the first two balls and uh, clearly a poor shot poor selection i would say and he knows the importance of the wicket so he does more i think he made an important point about being sensible in an interview where you know it's, it's not about hitting sixes and fours but it is about how you uh, plan your innings how you construct it over the top will bounce uh, once and go into the boundary Chandimal is perfect for this version of cricket. Loves to assert his authority if he can. And that's exactly what he did with uh, Hafiz. Just a little bit outside the off stuff. Well, you don't really see many players playing that shot with, with command. Well, honestly speaking, I never expected uh, such a crowd here. It's beautiful. It's good to see out there. Huge crowd. A lot of Pakistani fans. That's it! Out! Wicket, Sangakara is gone. Soft dismissal. Angelo Matthews is the new batsman, and what responsibility he carries here. This is uh, how Sangakara went. I thought uh, Man, trying to sort of chip in for a single, not really looking to go big.